Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. In May 2017, the WannaCry ransomware attacked 150 countries and approximately 220,000 systems. It crippled hospitals, banks, and transport systems all over the world. In November 2017, 3.4 million records were leaked in the Paradise Papers incident. In March 2018, data of 87 million individuals were affected in the Cambridge Analytica, Analytica data leak. Last month, the world woke up to the Facebook security breach in which accounts of 50 million users were exposed. This list goes on. It goes on beyond countries and it goes on beyond borders. Cybersecurity incidents have become the norm. This is now the world that we live in. Internet of Things are being targeted all the time. As we know, any device with Wi-Fi capability can be hacked. Top targets of ransomware cyber attacks are financial services, healthcare, and of course the public, se public sector. According to one report, cybercrime will cost the world some six trillion US dollars annually by the year 2021. The hidden cost of data loss may be far greater. The question for all of us is, what do, do we as a union have to do to address this? We have put some measures in place. In turn, we see bad actors getting even more creative. We are mindful that it is the ITU members who are responsible for the internet, which is the engine that drives the global digital economy. Rolling out infrastructure, improving QoS, and of course, affordability, driving transformation, that all is a given. However, the more we connect our people, the more incidents there are. Hence, the need for us to do more about these cyber incidents which are increasing by the day. We need practical, concerted measures to adequately deal with cybersecurity issues. That is one of the reasons why we are here today, to find a way to manage all this on a global scale. Malaysia believes that this is the platform that can deliver, one that can act swiftly and cohesively for the greater good. We know this better than most others. In 2014, when we lost MH370, MH370 we asked BB14 for help, and the union came to our assistance immediately. Today, almost all commercial flights can be tracked in real time, and we must thank you for that. However, there is a lot more that needs to be done. While we open up a world of possibilities to the world citizen, we also have a duty to protect, and that duty is paramount. Malaysia will extend our full cooperation in this. Together, we must, take, must make cyberspace a safe place. Mr. Chairman, we congratulate you on your appointment and the government of the United Arab Emirates for hosting this conference. Thank you very much.